you want suspense? Let's give you suspense. Come into this room, guys. Wow. I love it. Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm so excited to show you this beautiful four bedroom property behind me. Beautiful red brick with contemporary details. Lots of amazing fittings for us at all. So, right, the specs on this uh, property is that it's a four bedroom property. It's 2,300 square feet and it's on sale for around 900,000 pounds. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. So welcome to your entryway. First things first, I want to point out all the unique details of this entryway. Number one, this is one of the most dynamic entryways that I've been in for a long time. In fact, I can hear my voice kind of echoing because it's actually quite spacious and grand. First things first, let me just point out the details. I love the fact that choir matting is basically integrated into this property from the get-go so they've already thought about the transition of dirty shoes into this beautiful what appears to me to be antico flooring they've got a full height glazing panel that's frosted for privacy and obviously you've got your little viewfinder that's what it's called um, a keyhole um, through the front door you've got taller than average floor to ceiling heights and i can see the theme in this house is going to be chrome chrome details to the whole hardware so coming into this entryway this entryway if i'm 1.5 meters is going to be at least two meters wide so forget the word corridor we are not using corridor in this house i said it was dynamic have you seen this diagonal wall? We're gonna be seeing that throughout the rest of the floor plan. First things first, let's look through this mystery door. I said that, but before we do that, <laughs> let's talk about the door. So we've got the stepped edge profile to the architraves and they've continued that in the skirting board. I love the finishes and the fact that they've done the sealant between the skirting board and the flooring, which helps with sound noise reduction or drafts as well. So this is a store cupboard and I'm gonna check what's in here. So yeah, this is gonna be your cloak, most likely gonna be your cloak or store. Fantastic position to have it as well. And then they've got these white paneled wooden doors as well here, beautiful chrome handles as well. And then let's come into the rest of the home. We've got another diagonal aspect there and then that's the rest of the house. But first let's come into this space. Actually, how could I forget? Let me do a little, uh, demo guys you have two glazed double doors wooden double doors and these would have had to be fire doors so I'm super impressed you come into this main room which has been staged as a cinema wow the staging is beautiful this wallpaper absolutely beautiful but forget about the wallpaper here at property vlogs we're gonna talk to you the pros and cons of the actual architecture in here. So let's start with the fact that it's a nicely proportioned living area, which you could probably use as an alternative room. I was gonna say my usual, use it as a spare room, but not with those glazed doors, it wouldn't be appropriate. But let's come into this space. We are flooded with natural light. It, um, with this square bay window and you've got one, two, three, four, five panes, huge panes of glass bringing in so much light. And then you've got this back wall with another window there. So there's a second aspect looking over the side of the property, fantastic. They've staged it with a humongous sofa which is like a cinema style sofa, but this would be like probably a three seater, a two seater and a little nook in that corner there. There is central heating to this whole ground floor as well. I think that's standard. So there's no underfloor heating. It is radiators and central heating. The floor to ceiling again is fantastic. And given the fact that this whole room is painted in dark colors, you can still appreciate the scale and the size of the room. So let's go back into the corridor again the angular uh, floor plan you can see it so in this mystery room i think this is going to be the powder room downstairs toilet i love the brush um chrome 
light affecting uh, light sockets as well. So let's come into here. Oh, there's a theme. So we've got another fabulous display of this beautiful wallpaper, but let's not look at the wallpaper. Let's focus on what you're actually getting. Because you have to remember guys, in your own new build property, it's gonna be all white painted, it's gonna be a blank canvas. So we have to really try hard to look beyond the beauty of the show home and the amazing aromas which I'm currently smelling from the candles. So this downstairs toilet is rocker, rocker white goods. So there's a toilet and a sink. This is a hidden cistern. So the whole water, the flushing system is behind this kind of built out part of the wall. There's a nice little ledge for decor and the flooring continues. There's no threshold strip, which means that it makes this space feel even bigger. We've got a heated tower rail here as well, which is based off the central heating and lovely space just to add like a little bit of a personal touch here. I love it, fantastic. So coming back into here, so that's your downstairs toilet, really nice position. It's fitted with a nest system as well. So that's a bonus as well for anyone who's energy conscious. So coming into here, let's go through this. I think they could have done with making this a glazed door, you know, or maybe they wanted a bit of suspense. But anyway, if you want suspense, let's give you suspense. Come into this room, guys. Wow, I love it. <laughs> I say that about every property, don't I? But it's so nice. The proportions are further kind of um, demonstrated by the way they've staged it. So normally with staging, they put some awkward pieces to make you think, oh, this works. No, guys, this layout works. We've got an L-shaped floor plan, which means that you can have the flow through the rooms is so nicely thought through. You've got your kitchen, which is separated away from your living area and dining. So this is the kitchen area. As you can see, there's a fixed island with like a really beautiful style stone worktop. And we've got these beautiful kind of dark gray um, panels as well. This is your cabinets are going to be in that same material, I believe. And that's quite a cool detail at the bottom of the, the cabinet as well. It's like a stainless steel strip at the bottom. So let's not get too carried away. Let us look at the kitchen and the spec of the kitchen. We've got recessed spotlights to the kitchen. Um, I'm not sure if that's standard, but just bear in mind that they, that's what they've done here. We've got a beautiful south stone work top as well with the fabricated grooves into it with a one and a half ball. And the sink is by Karen Phoenix. The tap is Vado tap, stainless steel as well. So it all works together. Chrome and stainless steel, fantastic pair together. Would have been nice probably if they did the, the upstand a bit more so that you'd have more protection against splashing. But Essentially, what you'd end up doing is tiling across the back of that if you really wanted more protection. I've got a fantastic slot window facing the rear garden, bringing in lots of light. So again, whilst you're doing the washing up, you might not have a window right in front of you, but you have one just next to you. I think this is going to be the boiler. Yep. So this is an ideal logic system S2 boiler um, to the kitchen. And let's go through everything. <laughs> Um, without looking too um, frantic. So this is a Bosch uh, washing machine. Again, let's test. Is this soft closer? Yes, guys, these are soft closing cupboards. Um, oh, dishwasher as well. So you've got a dishwasher there integrated. And then again, storage right below the hob, which is a electric hob by Bosch. You've got an electric induction, sorry, electric. Of course, it's gonna be electric. You've got a, a, a basically a Bosch extract fan as well above the cooker and they've carried the worktop the same material all the way up here and it's beautiful I love the way it feels it's durable and it's it's obviously longer lasting than laminate and it costs more so well done to the developer for doing that um, and then you've got your state brushed stainless steel um, light sockets as well and applying sockets lots and lots of storage as well i love the way they've done the little excess space they've done it in the same theme you've got your integrated appliances as well your ovens in there and then they've got this recessed led lighting strip so this corner which would have otherwise been an awkward corner is actually well lit and becomes a feature i love that you've got your fridge freezer in a 70 30 ratio so lots of fresh food guys just remember that and then what's going on in the island let's have a look storage 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 and storage I think, I'm going to hazard a guess, check with the developer, but as in the description as well to read more details, but essentially this probably would be where you could upgrade to a wide, um, 
a wine uh, cooler as well but yeah this is beautiful also functions as a breakfast bar as well a diner so there's a lot of interaction in the space i love it it's done in dark colors which is just like a statement and then we've got off the kitchen is a dining area as well with a not nicely sized radiator behind it this has been staged with a uh, for six six seater but i think you could definitely expand on that they've maintained the flow through the spaces and before i leave the space i feel like i'm going to forget this door so let's have a look what's in here okay so this is an additional storage space under the stairs fantastic and that's where your internet router is fantastic love it love that lighting as well well done developer well done so coming into this space we've got two roof lights they're key light roof lights as well and then you've got a feature spotlight um area in the middle of that as well it's vaulted as well in the roof so it's sloping and it mimics the shape of the roof above so it's not a flat ceiling fantastic because it makes the space feel even bigger than what it is and then you've got a space here a little snug slash living area for like a sofa a tv there or maybe art or storage and then these are aluminium bifolding doors and what's cool about these i'm going to triple check but i do think that i can confirm that on the inside these are gray but on the on the inside these are white and on the outside they're gray so that's extra attention to detail i love that and then the threshold change between the inside and the outside is so minimal so it's gonna help you flow between the inside and the outside if you look at the garden beautiful feature and landscaping but let's look at the proportions of the garden it looks like it's at least 10 meters long um i'm quite good with guessing lengths but again check the details of the developer and with most uh, new builds every garden is different so again let's look at the proportions as you can see as I walk through this space it there's a really lovely flow to it and I really really think it's been well designed so let's come back into this space now let's go to the first floor so now we're on the first floor of this two-story property so the landing beautifully proportioned i just kind of don't know where to start there's so many rooms but let's start with this one since i'm already holding the door wow this is your family bath um it's got a three-piece suite with a shower over bath i love this tiling i feel like i've seen it before it looks like porcelain tiles as well in a high gloss finish and a really cool gray cool gray toned tile um, with great chrome edging strips as well and effect we've got a rocker sink with a floating vanity storage has already been considered then you've got your toilet your full height heater towel rail and a beautifully proportioned bathtub to the space the flooring in there is probably antico flooring as well and that's the bathroom in the same style as the rest of the house and then coming into this room wow you've got an upstairs lounge um this again maybe we'll just give you a couple of seconds and my the staging beautiful fantastic wow fantastic i love it <laughs> proportions wise this room is well proportioned i love the fact that you have an option for two windows two large windows and um, both are opening as well so you can get lots of ventilation in the warmer months um you've got really really good proportions taller than average floor to ceiling heights and again i'm all the way over here with a large three-seater which could be an l-shaped sofa if you want it and then another large three-seater over there two three-seaters in the house on the first floor this could also potentially be a bedroom so if you really wanted i think it could count as a bedroom you'd obviously put a super king bed you could probably put the bed over here or on that wall and have the dresses and wardrobes on the opposite wall there's a little nice little nook here which if you wanted to you can make like into a little mini bar area um and yeah essentially your tv could go there whenever you get a space like this sometimes i am a bit lost for words because it is almost like an ideal room there's literally you can do literally anything with it it could be a cinema room a guest room a study a playroom it is so well proportioned it doesn't dictate what you do with it you can do 
pretty much anything you want. So coming back into the landing, we've got what appears to be a bathroom opposite. But before you get to the bathroom, we're now in what looks like it's a primary suite. Come in here. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Wow. It is so lovely. So essentially, we've got a window facing the rear of the property, another large window facing the rear property. And then you've got double uh, French, well, a set of French doors with a balcony next to it. Now that we're in this room, let's see the proportion. Let's discuss the proportions. So this area alone is the size of a bedroom. And then we've got another area adjacent to it, which is the size of a bigger bedroom, but it's all within your primary suite. So you've got what looks to be a super king there with a gorgeous velvet headboard behind it as well, almost full height. Um, you've got large a large enough space either side for bedside tables and probably even more furniture. The way it's been staged is obviously this is where the bed goes, but I could see this area being maybe an, a dressing area if you wanted. You could have more wardrobes there or a TV entertainment system, um, a reading area as well, lovely. And then behind you, which I'm going to show you really quickly, is the balcony. Um, it is a paved balcony with a glass um hand uh, well, i was going to say balustrade yes glass balustrade and stainless steel handrails to it double doors that open up and then you can look over the front of your property your car and the view ahead it is really really lovely another little seating area so whilst somebody's in the bed maybe you could also speak to somebody whilst they're sat here you could read or just it's just got a very relaxed vibe and then you've got another independent um, control panel for your nest system so I think this room itself is probably isolated from the rest of the house which is a fantastic touch for the primary bedroom so again look how spacious this is as well this is just access between the rooms so the first space I'm going to show you behind this door is your walk-in wardrobe area beautifully fitted lighting feature above you could have his and hers or all his or all hers floor to ceiling beautifully considered get ready over there in your full length mirror and then come out and then go but let's go into the final space here and this is the ensuite so this ensuite has been fully tiled which is likely going to be an upgrade there's a window there letting in lots of natural light and ventilation and the whole length of this has been brought forward because of this hidden cistern and this uh, the floating vanity but it's a great opportunity for decor um, and toiletries and candles and everything that just sets a lovely mood you've got a very tall central heating connected towel rail and a shower there that's quite spacious with a handheld device on the shower and then spotlights to the whole room beautiful antique flooring to the ensuite and it, the color pairings is just fantastic now i think that's covered the first floor so let's go to the second floor the second floor and let's just go by instinct straight into this room so this room is the bathroom on this floor again that beautiful tiling we saw before you can just briefly look through this room and you can see it's the same quality level of fit fittings the ceiling heights here are closer to your standard of 2.4 with that being the second floor that is a bonus. Most second floors are actually quite short in terms of floor ceiling heights. Through this mystery door is your hot water cylinder as well and additional space for storage. Um, that also leads on leads me to guess that maybe there is there are thermostatic showers to this whole property rather than electric showers, which is always a bonus. And then this final room is a bedroom. You've got a window right in front of you. You've got a double bed. I think that's a king, actually. I think it's a king. It's not a double. <laughs> it's quite big. A king, a king size bed. Beautiful, beautiful headboard behind it. It's embroidered. I love that. So you've got enough space for a dramatic feature. You've got your sloping ceiling just above the bed, but it's nowhere near your head height. So you're not gonna get, you're not gonna walk into it and hit your head there. Um, and anyway, you're lying down in that portion of the, the area. So this is your bedroom. Again, I see another nest control, which makes me think, wow, I can even control this. 
this room itself, this room leads into an ensuite. There's no natural light here, so there is an extractor um, to circulate the air. They've gone with like a more neutral stone colored um, theme here as well. So again, you can see the fittings, the shower, the toilet and the sink and a hidden cistern there. Coming back out of this room, again, you can see the space. You can have a little little seating nook, dressing area. You've got a door there, which leads to a, a wardrobe area, closet. And then you've got another closet here. And you know what, I did think, oh, it's connected. <laughs> I was gonna say, why didn't they connect it? It is connected. Hmm, there's a reason why they've done this wall here. We'll have to ask the developer why they've done that. But there'll be a reason for it. Otherwise, the you know, you'd probably connect the whole thing together. But anyway, that is this room on this floor. And then coming back into the landing area, there are two additional rooms. Wow. So the room on my left is another double bedroom. And you can see here, this now looks like it could be a small double bed. So maybe it's a single room where you know you can fit a small double inside. It's got a full window facing the back of the property. So not one of those tiny dormer windows. It is a proper bedroom in its own right with a sloping ceiling, space for a wardrobe over there and a TV mount, lovely proportions. And then the final room on this floor is, oh, this is adorable. This is a single bedroom, but you could fit a double in here easily if you don't mind moving it across the wall. Um, it's not great to move double bedroom beds against the wall, but if it's just one person sleeping there, it's fine. Just single bedroom with a window facing the back of the property. You've got the vaulted ceiling, an additional roof light as well. Fantastic. And then wardrobes on that wall. So now that we've gone through this entire humongous house, um, the first thing I wanted to say that if you watched all the way through to this point, thank you so much. If you liked what you saw, well, you better give it a thumbs up. And then let us know in the comments your favorite part of the house. If you're not really into those technical details, let us know what what was your favorite decor item, the interior staging or what you liked that the developer put in. But most of all, do not leave this video without subscribing so that we see you next week on our next video. If you liked what you saw, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.